This season started off fairly early for our operation. Everything went fairly smooth too. The only hiccup we had was uh, middle of May, prime planting time. We started getting rains and uh, kept us from the field for about a week and a half. Mother Nature gives us opportunities. And with the higher rainfall that we received this year, we needed to take action. Some of the biggest challenges this year due to the rain has been diseases. And we've had to really be at the top of our game to manage these diseases. Uh, starting early in the season, at herbicide timing, we were putting down pre at two ounces. And later on, scab fusarium head blight and using corumba to battle that. Fusarium head blight can basically get your wheat rejected at the elevator and uh, you, you can get docked as much as 80 cents per bushel. So it was very critical that we get this right. In my view, the Corumba did a excellent job at controlling Fusarium head scab this year. It was a high uh, disease pressure year for head scab and I think it uh, met the challenge. Harvest just started a couple days ago the uh, yields are well above uh, the farm average uh, on barley, and uh, they're just getting into their wheat. As far as results, uh, we'll know when harvest is done as far as yield, and then also when Nate takes his wheat in to the elevator to get it graded will be very critical. But just looking at the wheat right now, it looks like both the Preaxer and Corumba did an excellent job. Uh, as we're shelling some of the heads, uh, you can see that the wheat is, is pretty much disease free. Well, I talked to Troy about a lot of products, especially this last year we've been talking about new products coming up to shoot. So Schmitz are uh, intensive management growers. Uh, they do what's need to be done. They want to maximize yield potential. Uh, commodity prices are down, and so the only way that a grower is able to affect his income is, is to maximize production. And uh, the Schmitz, I believe, did that this year. We like to keep a very healthy relationship with uh, the whole agronomic team of uh, product reps and, and uh, agronomists in our area, so it, it helps us remain successful. It has been a great team effort. It's been a lot of fun. I mean, I, I, I wish we had this relationship with all growers and crop consultants uh, where it's really a, a solid base to work from and everybody gets along real well and we're all working towards a common goal, which is higher yields and more profitability for Nate. <laughs>